Southern California kickboxing standout has been waiting for the chance to battle the world's elite. Tonight, he gets that chance. Here comes Joe Schilling. Joe Stitch him Up Schilling, the hometown hero, a troubled youngster who was expelled from myriad high schools prior to achieving graduation. He says it was because he was emotional and always getting into fights. At his mother's urging, he took up martial arts at age 15 and quickly realized he had found his path in life. Nice outfit, kind of like Oz, the TV show. But seriously, he uses his height well. He's very aggressive and he's he almost got like a violent kind of a style. He throws everything with power, good footwork to set up brutal low kicks, and he will have to work hard to not throw one of his best weapons in Muay Thai, the elbow. Yes, sporting the colors of his gym, the yard, he named it after the exercise area which prisoners in the county jail used to use for their rec time, also a part of Can't Stop Crazy. So we are set for the second semi-final in the glory four-man one-night middleweight tournament. Let's go to the tail of the tape. In this battle of Muay Thai versus Kyokushin Kai Karate, Kango Shimizu and Joe Schilling match up very well with Schilling having a few inches in height, but Shimizu has a few more fights and even more KOs. I don't think either guy is going to take a backward step and we could be uh, over in the first. Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, this Muay Thai specialist holds a black belt in Kyokoshin Karate. His professional record, 16 wins with three losses. 13 of those 16 wins have come by knockout. At six feet, one inches tall, 1.86 meters, he weighed in at fight time at 180 and one half pounds, 81.9 kilos, representing Japan and ranked number six in the glory world ranking. Ladies and gentlemen, Kenga Shimizu! And now here's his opponent fighting out of the white corner. A two-time national champion and WBC interim light heavyweight champion. His record, 14 wins with four losses, 10 of those wins by way of knockout. He stands six feet three inches tall, 1.91 meters. Weighed in at 185 and one half pounds, 84.1 kilos. Representing the United States of America and fighting out of Los Angeles. California. He is currently ranked number five in the Glory World Rankings. Ladies and gentlemen, Joe, stitch him up! Shielding! Your referee for this contest is Dan Stell. What's up, gentlemen? Let's obey my commands all times. Protect yourself at all times. Touch those, come out to bed. Good luck to both of you. Artem, the Lion 11 awaits the winner in the final later tonight to determine the Glory Middleweight Mouthpiece. Tournament Championship. Mouthpiece. And he's fresh. The bell and round one. Shimizu in the black gloves, Schilling in the white. Schilling making his Glory debut tonight. Shimizu won the Glory 8 four-man middleweight tournament in May of this year, earning himself a contract in the process, and he also is making his first appearance in the Glory ring. He is ranked number six, Schilling ranked number five. Oh. Head kick by Schilling, low leg kick. So already the kicking clinic being put on by Schilling, a Muay Thai practitioner with the front kick. Shimizu now. And I'll stop. The Walks back, right into Schilling. But Schilling is so dangerous because everything he throws is with the intention of putting you out of the fight. Very aggressive Stop. attack back, by Schilling back. as they clinch again. Schilling holds a Muay Thai victory over the revered Kauklai Kenanorsing, stopping him in the first round after three knockdowns. He's a friend and training partner with MMA star Nick Diaz, who's in attendance here tonight. And the win over Kalsai was a great win, Kauklai. Push kick by Schilling. That kick blocked. But still, sometimes when you block those kicks, it hurts your hand, your wrist, or your arm. Oh, both guys missed his. Yeah, both guys threw the, the, the knockout punch in that one. They both missed. 
Nice three punch combination by Schilling. Mixes it up, going downstairs with an inside low leg kick. Shimizu is being befuddled here. He, he doesn't really know how to figure out what Schilling's got. Shimizu shelling up that right hand behind the guard by Schilling, who is just manhandling Shimizu along the ropes. Schilling getting that uh, over under. Oh. Still warning him there. Yeah. There's the plum clinch, then there's the over under clinch. And the over under clinch, where you dip the guy's head to the side, you can knock him out with one knee. Final minute of the first round. All Joe stitch him up, Schilling thus far. Shimizu started kickboxing as a small heavyweight, says this is the weight class he wants to stay in. Shimizu had the right idea about 10 seconds ago where he pushed Joe Schilling back, and he's got to do more of that. Schilling stings him with the jab through the guard. Left hook behind the ear, and then the kick to the head by Schilling. Because staying on the outside like this, he doesn't have the length to deal with Schilling. Left hook, right hand by Schilling. Another right hand behind the guard, and Shimizu in trouble. Yes, sir. 15 seconds left in the round. Schilling continues to march down Shimizu from with the straight left. So it's been all stitch him up. Joe Schilling, a great start to his glory debut in his hometown. And a look at Nick Diaz. Strike Force and a UFC veteran who was trained with Joe Stitch him up Schilling. Had a chance to talk to him earlier. Doesn't know what he's going to do next. Well, one thing he will be doing is having a good time. Now, here's that head kick. It was partially blocked, but it got in there a little bit. Joe Schilling went low directly afterwards. And here's another look where Shimizu, he guards the kick, but look, it gets through and slaps him upside the ear and scrapes against his face. Nasty. Schilling pulling out all the stops, push kick right to the jaw. We've seen that be very effective in MMA, and now a lot of guys are using it again as a dangerous weapon, not just a range fighter in Muay Thai and kickboxing. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. two, mouthpiece, back up. That was a kick let's invented by fight. Steven Seagal, right? <laughs> Round two underway, the two touch gloves. It was all Joe Schilling when it came to power strikes in the opening round. Outlanding Shimizu 15 to one, and now a barrage of knees by Schilling. Another push kick. Schilling is intent on destroying everyone in his path, and unfortunately Shimizu happens to be there. Shimizu's got to get destructive in his own way and land one of those kilks and bombs. Another front kick by Schilling to the sternum of Shimizu. Jab by Schilling and again going upstairs with that front kick. Those are hard kicks to the body. Even though they're a front kick, it's still a hard kick. He's not holding back. Shimizu. Uh oh, there's a spin kick by Schilling, but choke back kick. Shimizu coming forward, but not showing any aggression. And more importantly, not throwing any strikes. Shimizu has got great kicks in his own right, but he hasn't thrown any. Joe Schilling hasn't let him. There's, There's a one. Kick. Yeah. Raise the midsection. Comes in close. Again, knees from the Muay Thai practitioner, Joe Stitchem up Schilling. Oh, that low kick, you can hear it. Oh, and join us on social media at glory underscore WS on Twitter, hashtag glory10. Follow us. And of course, check us out on Facebook at Glory World Series. Artem the Lion Levin watching with vested interest. He will face the winner of this bout later tonight in the final of the four-man one-night middleweight tournament. And so far, it looks like he may get his wish. Schilling and again in the show back kick. Push kick by Schilling. A minute left in the second round. Body kick by Schilling. Switch kick there by Shimizu and eats another, a couple of more push kicks and then a left kick to the liver and a knee and another knee by Schilling. Right uppercut by Stitch him up Schilling. One thing I'll say is Kango Shimizu can take it because he's, he's really getting picked apart here. Another knee up the middle, a right knee by Schilling. 
Smooth sailing thus far for Joe Schilling in this semifinal matchup. Under 30 seconds now left. Shimizu, that kick was caught by Schilling, responds with a knee strike, and there's a jab backing up. Shimizu and a jumping knee, and another left knee by Schilling. It's, it's the agony of the knees for Shimizu. And even though it's like a three-second rule on the knees, it's enough for Joe Schilling to do a lot of work. Shimizu has to pull out all the stops and look for the knockout in the third round if he's to advance. Last round. Joe Schilling being a Muay Thai guy does a jump back kick. It got choked off but he came around with a back fist to make uh, at least one score. Here's another look. You jump up. And that landed upside the arm, but the back fist, it cased uh, across Sh Shimizu's face. Last round, gentlemen, touch them up. Let's Final go. round, the two touch gloves. It's been said that statistics are like bikinis. They show a lot, but not everything. But in this case, the numbers, Steven, speak for themselves. Total strikes landed in round two. Schilling 31, Shimizu 12. Now Shimizu very aggressive as he needs to be, but again, gets countered by the knee attack of Schilling. Yeah, he doesn't know how to deal with the Muay Thai aspect. Schilling the in the white gloves, Shimizu in the black. Yeah, even the kickboxing aspect, you know, Schilling has got a... A really oh, oh speedy heel speedy kick, heel lands. kick landed there by Schilling, hurting Shimizu. Oh. It's all oh. Joe stitch him up, Schilling. One way traffic here at Glory 10 Los Angeles, wanting to rubber stamp his spot in the final against Artem the Lion Levin. And those two have definitely had a war of words and have been. Talking each other up, and I know kickboxing fans around the world have anticipated that matchup, but Shimizu, with two minutes left, needs to do something very dramatic if he is to reverse his fortunes in this fight as he eats another knee. He needs a knockout. He's got to land a bomb. He's got to do what practically no one has ever done to Joe Schilling except for maybe Eddie Walker no, no, stop. and knock him out. 13 of Shimizu's 16 wins have come via form of KO, but there's a spinning back fist by Schilling. I love that move. One, two, right through the guard by Schilling. Uppercut connects. Just past the midway point of the final round. Shimizu is nothing more than a target at this stage as now Schilling backs him up to the ropes, baits him in, gets him into the clinch, and delivers stop. another knee. We can never be sure, but Schilling pretty much has this in the bag. I don't know that he's going to try and knock out Shimizu because Shimizu is taking a lot of shots and he hasn't gone anywhere. So Battering his body with knee strikes. There's a lead right hand behind the guard. Yeah, but if he, if he uses a lot of the energy trying to knock him out, he's not going to have the energy later on in the night to face Ultimate Left. Good point, Fight Professor. Final minute of the third round. Shimizu hanging tough. Stop. Stop it. Needs to land that one big shot to try and turn this thing around. Schilling moved to Los Angeles at the age of 20 because he felt this is where the epicenter of Muay Thai and kickboxing was in the U.S. Turned pro in 2006 and despite a relatively low number of fights has clearly established himself as one of the top fighters on the American circuit. He signed with glory and now getting his chance to test himself against the best in the world and dropping Shimizu with 15 seconds left. It looks like both Shimizu and Eleven barring an egregious <laughs> ruling by the judges they'll get their wish to meet in the final later tonight here at glory 10. Hi. you okay
Joe Schilling pulled out all the stops and showed that he's got quite the toolbox with spinning back fists and everything else here to get things done in what seemed to be a shutout against Shimizu. It was a shutout when it came to total power kicks and knees for the fight. 26 nothing for Stitch Them Up. And Artem Levin smiling at the fact that, yes, his wish has been granted. It will be the Lion versus Stitch Them Up in what should be a tantalizing final. He's surely smiling at the fact that Joe Schilling used a lot of energy in that fight. Yes, and he defeated Jason Wilness to advance to the middleweight tournament final. And of course, we are still awaiting the official decision by the three judges chosen by the California State Athletic Commission. As we take a look at the highlights from this semifinal matchup. Joe, Joe Schilling just started right off throwing kicks at the head, kicks at the legs, getting the clinch done. And then the teeth kick, the front kick, was slapping the Japanese fighter around. Kango Shimizu really didn't know what to do in all these things because of the expertise Joe Schilling has of being ranked highly in glory. He pretty much just laid anything he wanted to do, did his own version of a clinic, as Moro said earlier, against the Japanese fighter. Looks to me like it might be a 30-27 win for Joe Schilling. And Joe Schilling just landed so many more strikes. 88 landed against 26 by Shimizu. And uh, arm strikes and leg strikes were pretty much even for Joe Schilling. And Shimizu was just barely in the game with 10 and 16 in his own right. Who will face Artem the Line 11 in the final later tonight? We're about to find out. Let's go back to ring announcer Tim Hughes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this bout goes the distance, and all three judges score the bout 30-27 for your winner. One step closer to that $150,000 grand prize and a date to take on the world's number one, Joe Stitchemop Chili! An impressive debut in glory for Joe Schilling, and now one win away from the $150,000 cash prize. Let's go to Ron Kruk. Joe Schilling, you said that you are going to use this tournament as an opportunity to prove you can compete with the top fighters in the middleweight division. You certainly did that with this clinic. Des describe this fight. Uh, the fight was, uh, was good. The guy's, uh, I know he fought a heavyweight. I know he takes good punches. Right. His gloves are pretty squishy, so... Uh, I didn't feel that much confidence in my punches going into this. And, uh, you know, I just stayed busy and kept out pointing him. I know I hit hard. I don't have to load up on shots. I feel like my next, the next fight I'm going to do a little better. A lot of the nerves will be gone, but, uh, you know. Let's talk about that next fight. You said Artem Levin had been dodging you. Well, he can't run anymore. You've got him in the finals. What's going to be the key to taking him out? Uh, you know, Artem Levin's, uh, the reason I want to fight him is he's a bad motherfucker. And uh, that's the kind of people I want to fight. I'm not just here to prove that I'm the best middleweight in the world. I'm here to prove that there's top level American kickboxers right here, right here in the United States. And uh, that's my mission. When I beat Artem Levin, I'll prove that without a doubt. <laughs> that's my goal. Joe, these tournaments are so unique. So describe to the fans what you will do. You'll go back to the locker room. And what will you do to prepare for the finals? Um, you know, actually, I was expecting to be a lot more banged up than this. Uh, my strategy of move, using my movement paid off pretty well. Uh, my toe hurts a little bit, but I think I can get over it. Uh, I'm going to go to the back, relax, talk to my coaches, see if we can't make it, some changes to whatever mistakes I just made. And uh, I'm going to come out and empty the tank in the next round. Looking forward to it. Joe Schilling punches his ticket to the Glory Middleweight Finals. So it will be the number one ranked Artem, the Lion 11, against the number five ranked Joe Schilling in a much anticipated final to determine who will be the glory middleweight tournament champion and who will walk away with 150K. Still to come, another middleweight matchup. Taking a look at Wayne Barrett of the USA, warming up in the back, getting set to face his opponent compatriot Robbie Plotkin who took this fight 